This tutorial is about importing library flaps into your custom drawing. Uh, to do that, we click Dimensions, and here we have a list of available flaps. Um, I'll choose this, a rather exotic one, the X to back tuck, and I'll add one on the side here. Add Import Section Reference, and here we have a next back tuck, which is actually three separate sections. Now, each of these imported flaps comes with a dialog box, which enables you to move uh, various parts of the, uh, of the flap in ways that the designer has thought appropriate. So, for example, I can change 2 to um, 12, and these get, both of these uh, holes get narrower. At some point, um, you may wish to convert the section into a uh, construction view, ordinary section. Um, and once you've done that, uh, you can no longer edit it with this uh, with this dialog box so uh, you need to actually make sure that you've applied all the changes that you need um, before uh, going to that uh, to that step uh, so the other thing we can do at the moment is we can uh, resize the parent section so if I move this one like so, then that will resize the uh, uh, library flap, but it, it does it in a way which is um, envisaged by the design, the designer of this flap, uh, not in the standard construction view way. So um, anything that you have here uh, in the way of uh, stretch uh, properties um, is arbitrary and uh, is ignored uh, at this point. So if I um, select an ordinary section, uh, then this indicator down here is, or both these indicators are uh, grayed. Uh, whereas if I select this one and hover over the no entry sign, it tells me that that's an imported section and basically that I can't edit it in instruction view so I'll find that a lot of commands are missing and um, so if I try to select a point for example uh, there's not a lot I can do so once I've um, resized the uh, or uh, the baseline of the section um, and uh, set up the uh, internal parameters uh, in a way that I like, um, I can uh, click here and convert the section into a, uh, a non-imported section. So now it's still uh, illuminating this no entry sign, but it's, uh, the reason is that um, the machine steps in this section are, are not of the standard construction view form. And so there's, there's two steps required to make it into a standard construction view um, section. And once I've done that, um, I'll find that I get com a complaint here. Um, so that's not strictly true. I can actually undo uh, the previous two changes. Uh, but I've done enough, so that's imported. So it's now an imported section again, um, and I can in fact edit it. Uh, so uh, if you do this rashly, then you can uh, in fact undo the problem. Just before we convert to a um, a um, construction view section, another thing which you can do with the imported sections after you've um, change their parameters, you can actually copy that section and put a copy over here. 
and that will be a copy with the uh, with your changes rather than a, uh, a standard uh, out of the library um, version. Now, so I'll, I'll now go and convert this into a construction view section. And uh, to the two operations. Now I should be able to drag points around. So, uh, <coughs> like so. Um, and like so. But of course, uh, that's not going to have any effect on this other um, copy. Uh, the, this uh, other hole here is actually a copy of this one because uh, when, when it's folded, they actually fold together. So now it won't work as it did. So I'll just demonstrate that. Um, so it's a bit more, I think. Let's uh, keep folding. Yes, there they go. So now this is the uh, this uh, is the um, unmodified uh, tuck flap, and this one is the one we changed. And uh, as you can see, it's uh, it's two holes no longer have the same shape. So um, we we vandalized it a bit. Um, which is why you should actually uh, do the uh, edit import uh, changes before you get into construction view. So, um, however, now you have the freedom to move um, the um, um, points around it any way you like. And also, um, when it was converted to uh, construction view, all the uh, um, stretch flags were uh, by default changed into uh, into proportional. So um, if I resize the section now, uh, which is um, that section, just section height, um, I'll get proportionally sized um, point positions, although uh, it's, I, the arcs don't change curvature, it would seem. Uh, finally, I should mention that if the process of converting sections into construction view becomes tedious, you can also, also right, so we have this, this little no entry signs all the time. If you click on this unlock uh, icon, uh, that will make that go away. And now when I look at this section, I'll find that uh, the usual commands are available. And this is uh, this uh, icon. It says auto unlock imports and formula sections. And that's what it does. Um, so if you find that uh, more convenient and not dangerous, then you feel free to turn that on.